The men had received food from the Lord, and so they sought to seek him. And when the Lord works the miracle of the multiplication of the loaves and fishes, he does a good thing. But as the Lord knows, there was a better thing and something he wished them more earnestly to be attached to. And so when they seek him out, the Lord points out, it is not because the miracles he works, the signs, nor the teachings, but because they had been fed that they sought him out. He does not condemn it as a bad thing, but he does point out, it is not the greatest of all things, nor the greatest of all motivations, because ultimately the Lord wants us all, seeking not the bread of this life, but the bread of eternal life, that is, his presence here in the Eucharist at the holy sacrifice of the Mass. And so the Lord seeks always to bring them to a greater understanding, a greater desire. And so he points out to them that they are to seek that they are to seek that which can truly fill them, that is, the Word of God and most especially the sacraments of the church. And so he brings them to a greater understanding so that they may be weaned from the things of this life in order to be attached to the things of the supernatural life. He does not condemn them, nor does he forbid them to strive for the things of this world, but they must do so in context, in context, in context with the faith that he has come to give. And once that faith is received and we have acquired the truth, we are to go forth as the first reading in today's Mass points out, like St. Paul, to all the people giving the word. St. Paul was not discouraged by the fact that he was arrested and would be sent to Rome. He saw it merely as an opportunity to open up the evangelical fields, to extend the mission of Christ the King. And so he earnestly embraced his imprisonment and all the trials and tribulations because he would simply preach to those who imprisoned him and ultimately he would begin to sow the seeds that would convert the Roman Empire into the Catholic Empire during the medieval times. And so we see very clearly that once the Lord has given us his truth, we are not to expect the accolades of the world nor the applause of the world, but rather we are always to keep our mind on that which the Lord tries to bring the disciples to a better understanding in today's gospel. We are to keep our mind on supernatural realities, and that is what is to drive us in this world as we, con as we continue to cooperate with the mission of Christ our Savior to bring all peoples, all lands, and all nations to him. And so let us strive earnestly to spend our lives acquiring that truth and to give it for the Lord himself had, a, had the truth given to him by the Father and he did one thing. He came in order to, to spread, in order to diffuse that truth to all peoples and all lands. And so we too must strive to seek the early Christians like St. Paul entering into dialogue with all those whom we, whom we come into contact but always with the intention of trying to bring them to a greater understanding for it was the method of the Lord. It's, it is a method revealed to us in today's gospel and so it must be our method. We must always seek to, to teach the truth, to bring mankind to a better understanding, knowing that often we, we will, like St. Paul, be asked to pay the ultimate price, for the world will not first readily accept the truth of Holy Mother Church, but indeed will try to destroy that truth in the hearts of men by often destroying those who bring that strive to bring that truth to them. And so let us not worry about the things of this world, nor the trials and the tribulations, nor the persecutions and even the death that the world can bring upon us because if we die like St. Paul and all the holy martyrs, we die witnessing to Christ and we will receive that which the Lord promises to all those who serve him in this life, that is, eternal life with him for all eternity, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, all the angels and saints, where we will praise our good God together for all eternity. Amen. 